Okay, uh, so now we're going to talk about why we need to move our schedule up on getting the whole roof done. As you can see, it, it kind of looks a little ratty, it's dirty, but what we've done is this is an EPDM rubber roof that was probably done about 25 years ago. We coated it and repaired some of the seams, which stopped a lot of our water ingress down through the roof. There is an old tar roof below this, then there's some insulation, then there's the EPDM. What we found since is we still have about a half a dozen places that we're getting water into the house when it rains, especially heavily. And some of that is the flashing on the copper. And if you look down in there, you can see that basin. Again, when the copper repair was done on the bell tower, this was relined. But a lot of the flashing and the soldered seams on the original copper roof has failed. If you look where Jim is pointing right now, that rust line, copper doesn't rust, you guys. Remember that from materials? Well, people used dissimilar metal fasteners when they put the leading edge of this EPDM roof on it. We've removed a bunch of them. They've obviously created some ingress and, and you know problems with the roof. The copper roof is fundamentally sound for probably quite a while. Um, the leaks that are in that are something we're going to have to address when we actually redo the whole copper roof. But in the shorter term, our EPDM is failing. And that's a bigger issue because that's letting more water in that we really can't control. So basically from here all the way to the back lot needs to get replaced. This covering will get ripped off. The insulation for the most part seems to be in good shape. We only know of one area that we'll probably need to go down to the roof decking and replace some of the original decking. We'll point that out later. Um, and then as this is done, all of this will be reflashed up to the you know, parapets that we really don't have going around the whole thing. Um, so key areas that have failed are where this hip is, where the copper comes up in the alley my foot you can see this has completely pulled away so with snow load and ice and everything else we're getting seams open up it's bringing water down in around the skylight and everything else again around the, the roof hatch is not all that bad if we walk over here hi Jeannie hi. <laughs> so this is the skylight up in the attic that provides daylight to the rotunda on the main staircase. It's in pretty decent shape, but again, there's some parts of it that are punky around it. As we move farther back, you'll see the roof slopes to the rear. This is the alley outside the butler room, okay? The alley that is by the back stairs in that corner of the house. Uh, we have a lot of pointing. You can see there is standing water in the gutter right now. So obviously something is plucked. We're going to need to address that. And this is an, another gutter that it is the only remaining gutter in the house that actually comes internal. If you remember right, all of our gutters, they changed them to external downsides. This one actually goes internal. And so we're probably going to switch that and make it an external downspout as well. Um, this area otherwise is fairly sound. If you come, Jim comes back with me, we're now standing, basically I'm standing over the hallway at the back of the house inside. But you'll see that the roof to my right slopes, that's to the kitchen alley. And if we look back toward RPI, all of that roof sheds west toward this. So we have a huge watershed problem where the water comes off of that, hits this roof, turns 90 degrees, and looks like Niagara Falls and doesn't even go in the gutter in the kitchen alley. It launches and kind of almost goes into the neighbor's yard. We're gonna have to come up with a solution. The more immediate problem, and why we really need to do the whole roof at this point, is we have seams that have failed in this front half of the roof that slopes west. Where they failed, they get into the insulation, they hit the old tar roof, and they don't come out in mm -hmm. the old beer pong table pool room. They work their way down to this little ledger right here. And capillary when action. It's wet, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm pushing right here. This is water, you guys. If I stomp on this, I can probably make water come out of one of these seams. And so it's trapping it in here. This is the area of the roof that we know is punky and mm. still getting water and our biggest ingress of a leak.